Hi everyone, this is Ben with Pipeify, and today I'm going to show you how to optimize and customize your sales pipeline. Over the years, we've worked with many market-leading companies, and we've taken note of the most common pain points in the sales pipeline process. These pain points include a lack of standardization, aka every salesperson on the team is doing things their own way, a lack of centralized communication that comes from the overwhelming number of apps and systems the sales team uses. And finally, information and communication silos that emerge along team and department boundaries. Using Pipeify, I'll show you how to help your team build a structured sales pipeline that can be easily adapted as your team's needs evolve. Centralize your communication by connecting all your tools and apps with Pipeify and building a seamless user experience by connecting your sales pipeline to related workflows such as customer onboarding and lead qualification. So let's get to it. To begin, in your organization view, we want to select Sales Pipeline. Let's start by adding a new sales opportunity to our pipeline. To do that, we simply need to create a card. Now there are a couple of different ways we can do this. The first method is to create the card right inside Pipefy. To do that, we are just going to click this blue button and then add the leads information. If we aren't logged into Pipefy, there's an alternate method for adding a lead to our sales pipeline. In this case, we'll click the shareable link. This takes us to a public version of the form that we can complete and submit to get this lead in our sales pipeline. This method makes it easy to quickly add leads from anywhere. By sharing the URL, you can allow those without access to your Pipify account to add leads too. Each time a new lead is added, notifications are automatically generated and sent to make sure all stakeholders are aware and ready to take action. Now, if we happen to be using another app or system, such as Marketo, to capture and record our leads, we can connect those tools to Pipify. That means that any leads captured or created in the other systems are automatically added to our sales pipeline here in Pipify. So now we have a new sales opportunity in our pipeline. As we can see here, this opportunity is in the first phase of our pipeline. We call this phase prospects. As the opportunity moves through the different phases, the fields will change to make sure that we get all the information we need every time. This feature lets us standardize our process and bring more consistency to our data. Now the first thing we want to do with our shiny new lead is to assign the opportunity to one of our sales team members so that they can start working it. We can do this manually or we can create an automation that handles this for us. Now let's step into the role of our outstanding salesperson and start working this lead. We need to add the date of first contact and note the lead's temperature. Next, we'll schedule a meeting with the prospect by moving this lead to the next phase in the pipeline. When we do that, Pipify uses the meeting date to automatically create the event in Google Calendar. In the meeting phase of our sales pipeline, we can add notes and insights about the customer, their pain points, and their needs, and then select the products that are the best fit for them from a product database. The next step in the sales pipeline may be to hold a follow-up meeting or we may be ready to schedule a demo. If we are feeling really confident, we might even move this lead to the sales proposal stage of the pipeline. In the sales proposal stage, we're going to create a quote for our prospective new customer. Let's start by selecting the relevant products from our database and then adding a discount. Next, we click this button and Pipify will calculate and add our total here. Finally, we are going to give our proposal an expiration date and add any attachments we'd like the prospect to receive. Once we move the lead to the proposal sent phase, the document and any attachments are automatically sent to the prospect. 
Now we just wait for the proposal to be approved. If we need to communicate with the prospect by email, we can do that right inside the cart. If our prospect requests changes to the proposal or wants to negotiate terms, we can move the opportunity to a phase called In Review. In this phase, our outstanding salesperson can add their comments about the negotiation process. If the terms of the proposal require modification, the opportunity moves back to the sales proposal phase for adjustments and then moves back to the proposal sent phase. Once the prospect reviews the changes and is ready to sign the deal, our outstanding salesperson clicks Send and a digital signature integration delivers the document and captures the approval signature. As soon as the document is signed, a copy is automatically attached to the opportunity record in Pipeify and the opportunity moves to the Deal 1 phase of the pipeline. Automatically creating a customer in our customer onboarding workflow. Another Pipeify feature that helps sales teams and managers take control of their pipeline is the customizable dashboard. This allows sales managers, or anyone with permission, to check on metrics, KPIs, and pipeline statuses. For example, we can see the value of all deals in the pipeline, the number of deals won this month, and the amount sold per team member, all in real time. Keep in mind, Pipeify is highly adaptable, so everything you see here can be easily customized to reflect and support the unique structure of your company's sales pipeline process. That's it for our sales pipeline walkthrough in Pipeify. As always, if you have questions, Feel free to send us a message in Pipeify chat or reach out to the customer success team. Have a great day.